Super Mario Maker is one of the best games on the Wii U and has a variety of power-ups, NPCs and tons more. And now, coming out with a new game, Super Mario Bros. 2, which is releasing in June this year. But there are pa there were power-ups that were not added in the first game that need to be added to be added in this game. I I'm Ice Smasher and welcome to the top 10 Mario power-ups that need to be in Super Mario Maker. Two, the mini mushroom. There are a lot of mushrooms in the mushroom kingdom, like the normal mushroom or the one up mushroom, and more. We all know that Mario starts with small at the beginning of the get uh, every game and gains the, a mushroom at the first question mark block he gets. But with the small mushroom from the Super Mario Bros. DS game, it makes him small. In fact, small enough that he can jump on enemies and bounce off them like a trampoline. I know, it's amazing, right? It can open up new challenges, ideas, and plenty more that can be... One of the ideas could be like, jumping on enemies from level to level, or trying to get to the flag, or jumping up like a block of buildings, maybe. Whilst having to avoid spiky walls and that, and that jazz. Number nine, the blue shell. The blue shell was also featured in Super Mario, the new Super Mario Bros. DS. Now, what this power-up does is it allows you to have a blue shell on the back of you, and when you start running, you you go, you crouch down, and it makes you glide across the floor uncontrollably, so you, rendering you um, un uncontrollably practically. Yes. Yeah, so. It would be cool. It would be a cool thing to have in Super Mario Maker 2, as you would have ideas like maybe you having to jump across platform to platform whilst getting across to the next stage, whilst not trying to fall down to your doom. Ice flower slash penguin suit. This is practically the, the, well. This is practically the same as both, of course, because they both fire the ice balls out of their um, powers, of course. But of course, maybe there might not be the ice flower in the in the game because it's just it's almost the same as the penguin suit. Plus, the penguin suit has a bit more, you know, a bit more, I guess, powers to it than meets the eye. So with the so with the penguin suit, is that once you get it, you obviously look like a penguin. It's blue and red, as because of Mario. And once you get it, you can uh, glide across ice or the floor or whatever you, whatever you decide to do. Plus, especially when you're in water, as you, as because you're a penguin, you can glide like a penguin underneath the water, thus rendering you probably to survive much more easier in those in that type of environment. The frog suit. This is from Super Mario Bros. 3. This transforming into a frog, as you would have guessed, right? So, this also renders you to swim faster, jump higher, and resist water currents much more easier. Plus, you can only hop on land, which is the down part. But, what this renders you is to maybe come up with amazing ideas in the Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Maker 2 as you would as you have a clever brain not like me but to have I guess like some crazy challenges that you can do with all these different power-ups that I've told you so far and well yeah the acorn suit this is from Super Mario Bros. U and you'll be able to fly this in the acorn planes um, as it is shown in the game. This is also from Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario Luigi Bros. Luigi or Super Mario Luigi, whatever you want to call it, and Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. And what this renders you to do is right. It's an acorn, practically with eyes. It, you can find it in acorn planes, as I have said already. Also, what you can do is if you want to make if you like making challenges with. 
you know, wall jumping from walls to walls and that, that would make you easier because what the power up do does, it makes you glide across, well, it makes you glide across uh, the land and then have a little boost afterwards. Also, it makes you to hold on walls. So, like, just in case if you don't want to keep wall jumping from side to side quickly, you can jump on walls and maybe get the right angle, whatever. And, well, that's one advantage. This would be great in Super Mario Maker 2 because, well, it just would be, right? It just would be. It, it's a good power up, and that's why I put it in this position for now. And hopefully, we can have plenty more ideas for when the game comes out. Hopefully, with this power up when it comes out. On to the next one. The Boomerang Suit. The Boomerang Suit was originated from Super Mario 3D Land and has come across very other various games like Super Mario 3D World and all that jazz. So, what this allows you to do is that allows you to turn into a Boomerang Bro, so instead of the Super Mario Bros, the Super Boomerang Bros. Uh, I am very sorry that was very poor. But what this allows you to do is that you can throw boomerangs so you could destroy enemies in a line and then when it comes back to you like obviously like a boomerang should it could destroy enemies that you missed that are charging after you and plus many more right with the what this links to super mario maker 2 is that say that you have like something like an object or enemy or a button or whatever you need to destroy or get to um complete the level well what the boomerang does for you is that you can throw it from a distance and it allows you to get plenty more stuff from afar like say that you're you've got a coin that you need to collect and uh, then pass them through to the next part you just use the boomerang and voila this can be many it can be this can be used in very different varieties of challenges during the Super Mario Maker 2 series if it ever comes out that would be awesome for you guys to try out oh boy what other story I'm gonna tell you next the next item is the Super the Crown, as is originated in Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, as of course, this allows you to turn into Peachette if you're in, if you're in Toadette. This allows you to turn into Peachette. I'm not sure if with other characters you can do that, but it's been going along very much like with. Bowser, Bowser's touched it, and it's been going along with other various things that practically have we practically have just dominated the internet uh, last year, uh, uh, well, late last year. If you say to my son, like, there's a lot of anime of it. There's a lot of there's a lot of stories to tell about it, but it would be cool because um we never got Peach, and Peach can glide. As I said, with many others, the Peach can glide and get to areas where Mario probably couldn't get to if he didn't have those power-ups in what in those particular areas that you need to get power-ups or need to get to. Another power-up that needs to be added in Super Mario Maker is the Double Cherry. It, what it, it comes from, originates from Super Mario 3D World and what it does really is that it transforms you into two of what you are. So like say if you need to um, like have two people right you want to have like two buttons at the end and you and you have two paths to originate from then having two Mario's or two Luigi's whatever, whatever comes in Super Mario Bros or Super Mario Maker 2 that would be awesome, it would render you for lots of ideas, lots of fun, and you have to make it by with the two with the two guys, or then you have to, then you fail, game over, and you have to restart the whole entire thing. And that would be fun, yet yeah, it might be triggering for some people, like if you make them really, 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 really tough and hard for people to you know people to die and cry at. So that, that's, that's that. Next on my list is the Giant Mushroom. Now what this is, is it does originate from Super Mario, the new Super Mario Bros DS as shown on the screen right now, uh, because I put a little clip up there, because I want to, just to let you know what it is. 
and what it does is right it gives it's like the mini mushroom right it's another mushroom that's in the mushroom cleaner but it's the opposite of the mini mushroom it obviously is in the name giant mushroom now then what you can do with this is you can turn big you could turn big and blast through br massive bricks massive walls to get probably to these maybe to these secret areas and get new achieve get new stuff to get to secret levels secret areas you know or you can have it at the end maybe to fight his boss like maybe a giant bowser or something you know crazy ideas is amazing but yeah what you can we can really do is like have these little challenging videos where you can just stomp on people and you could just you could just win the game practically but it does obviously give you amount of time yeah that'll be that'll be pretty cool you know you have to fight the boss in a certain amount of time because obviously it is last a, a few seconds before it runs out and turns you small again before we hitch a ride into number one here are a few mentions i would also like to see some the, the star coins because those are one of the best things a, a, a game could ever have like collecting star coins because with the new power-ups you could have crazy ideas with all that jazzy stuff and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel to see more awesome gaming videos because that's what I'm all about and I'll be playing Super Mario Bro Super Mario Maker 2 which is making a mistake because I'm stupid Super Mario Maker 2 when it comes out in June so Behold and wait for that. Also, another honourable mention is comment down below what power up you mostly want in Super Mario Maker 2. I would like to hear all about it and what other stuff you would like to see in Super Mario Maker 2. Leave it down in the comments down below because that would be awesome. And don't forget to show the eye in the top right corner because that's where more videos will pop up. And the video shit is down in the description down below because my Instagram and all that stuff will be down there as well. So why don't we move on to number one, number one and let's see what it is. For the number one spot, we have the Tanuki Leaf from Super Mario Bros. 3. Now then, this is already in the game for the Super Mario Maker, but what I would like to see is it in... Well, I would like to see it in Super Mario 3D World from Super, Mar Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. U form and all that other stuff. Because the Tanuki Leaf, in my opinion, is the best power up for me. It is fun. It's like I like its twisty tail. It is in the Mario Kart games and everything. And think of all the ideas you can do. Like again, you can glide your way across to different areas to get to secret levels maybe get with those if you if we get the three star coins maybe you can have some ideas for that and maybe what you could do with it is that you can have different challenges to get to the star coins with the tanuki leaf like certain way like busting your way through enemies to get there maybe just gliding down to the bottom and without and you, without missing it to get the star coin or to get any power up re practically so yeah that's pretty much it for today if you would like to see more awesome videos like this leave a comment down below subscribe and leave a like because these awesome videos will be coming out more and more frequently and I can't wait for Super Mario Bros 2 so yeah Without further ado, don't forget to check out my other gaming videos because they're awesome as balls. You have a lot of fun, maybe a bit a few raiders, but all is all good. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys all next time with that with that's enough sell outing for one day. Peace!